Hi, my name is Pastor Pete, and I want to welcome you to the Absolute Basics of Christianity. Um, I'm assuming because you're watching this video, you've committed to give your, um, uh, your time for the next few weeks to this study. And so I wanted to give you just a, a brief introduction to the book and how to use it and uh, how to get the most out of the workbook. Each time you come to do a lesson out of the workbook, you're going to need three things. Uh, the first one is pretty obvious. You're going to need a Bible. Uh, if you want to use a computer version of the Bible, I'm fine with that. But honestly, I think you'll get the most out of this workbook if you spend some time in a paper version of the Bible. It will really help you learn uh, how to flip through and how to get the most uh, out of your Bible. And you'll be able to, to just navigate your way through God's Word uh, even better if, if you spend some time going through this book with a paper Bible in front of you. I use the New International Version um, is what I read from and what I preach from and what I study from most often and so that is what uh, almost all of the Absolute Basics of Christianity book is based off of um, but you can use the Bible of your choice and the translation of your choice and uh, I believe that that will speak to you and that's part of the reason why I didn't put all of the verses into the workbook itself so you can use different versions of the Bible to look the verses up. Second thing you're going to need is a pen or a pencil uh, to write in the workbook because the workbook is full of questions. And the third and final thing you're going to need is the workbook itself. Uh, the Absolute Basics of Christianity Workbook Volume 1 or Volume 2 depending on which part of the study that you are doing. So um, you're going to need those three things every time you sit down to do a lesson. Uh, there are 26 weeks in the Absolute Basics of Christianity, 13 in Volume 1, 13 in Volume 2. And each week um, begins with a letter of the alphabet. So week 1 is A, the Assurance of Salvation. Week 2 is B, Baptism. Week 3 is C, Church. And on it goes all the way through uh, Z, which gives us the 26 weeks. And each week is further broken down into four lessons. Uh, that you are expected to complete at home and ideally you'll complete one lesson per day. Uh, don't try to do uh, all four lessons an hour before your Bible study starts. Try to take some time out of each day to read your Bible, to dive in, and to go through the workbook uh, four days a week. That'll get you in some good study habits. Uh, it'll also help you really soak up um, God's Word and soak up what God is trying to, to teach you as we walk through this and as you dive into a subject each week. So uh, take your time when you go through it. Answer all of the questions. Don't leave any blanks. Even if you find a question that doesn't quite make sense or you think it's too difficult, attempt it. Put a star next to it so you can talk about it in your class. Uh, some of the questions have a wrench and hammer symbol next to them uh, in an X and others have a little movie symbol. Um, those indicate that there are extra resources at pastorpeat.org that you can access for that particular question to help you understand it or to give you additional information about the topic or subject or question that's there. So use that. Go to the website. Look on the left-hand side for the extra resources tab. Click on it and it's self-explanatory from there. You go to volume one or volume two and then pick your week. There is something in every week and almost every day of this study extra uh, on the website, so you'll be visiting pastorpeat.org often uh, for those extra resources if you so desire uh, to have them. Uh, that's there for you to use. It's all free, and uh, it's there just to supplement what you're learning in the book. If you will devote 13 weeks or preferably 26 weeks to go through the absolute basics of Christianity, I know from past experience, from talking to students who have been through this and disciples that have been through this, uh, that, that it will radically change the way you think, it will radically change the way you feel, and it will radically change the way you are able to express your faith. The two things I can consistently hear from people who do this study are, number one, I never in a million years thought I could memorize 25 verses in the Ten Commandments, and at the end of 26 weeks, I know 25 passages of Scripture, and I know my Ten Commandments, and that just amazes people. If you will work at that memory verse every week consistently for 26 weeks, you will be able to memorize Scripture, and that will be a blessing not only to you, but to other people as well, as you're able to share God's Word and speak God's Word directly into people's life without even having your Bible in front of you. The second thing that people consistently say is, I am amazed at the fact that I am now able to explain my faith to other people. 
I can explain why my salvation is secure. I can explain why baptism is important. I can explain why going to church is important. I can talk to people about complex issues like the Holy Spirit and the Trinity and spiritual gifts and forgiveness and obedience. And, and I've just, I've got this great understanding and I'm able to actually express that to people. If you will take your time and go through this study, it is designed to help you be able to better explain your faith and to communicate your faith to other people. And I know that it will do that if you will take your time and go through this. Um, the whole workbook is based on the Bible. There's lots of verses in every single day for you to look up. And I really want God's Word to teach you. The whole workbook is, is designed around these memory verses that you need to memorize so God's Word can teach you. Uh, theologically, it's an enlightening book. I think even if you have been in Sunday school or discipleship programs for 20 or 30 years, you're going to learn new things as you go through this book about the theology of the Christian faith. And, and spiritually, just overall, it's an engaging book. It will engage you in God's Word. It will engage you in the community of God if you do this with a small group. It's going to make your mind think. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause you to consider things that perhaps you've never considered before. And uh, again, that's all part of the process of you being able to better explain your faith. So I hope you enjoy the absolute basics of Christianity. I hope you get a lot out of it. I hope that it blesses your life. And uh, I hope that you'll take some other people through it and allow it to bless their life as well. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or issues, feel free to email me. Use the, the button on the website that says email me or contact me, whatever it says. And uh, I will get back to you as soon as possible. I pray that you're blessed as you go through Volume 1 or Volume 2, and I just hope that uh, you, you really have a good time as you dive into God's Word and as He teaches you all the things He desires for you to know. May God